Hello and a very warm welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on GMAT. We will actually focus on the quantitative segment that is very common and it comes. You get different tricky questions from this particular segment. So the, we will stress on this particular segment in today's tutorial. So let's get started with the first question. We'll start with question number 25. The question says that if 4 and 11 are the lengths of two sides of a triangular region, which of the following can be the length of the third side? Okay, these are the three options and we need to choose the combination. We have been provided with five options and we can choose. There is different permutation and combinations. So, to give Depending on that, we will first analyze it and then we will see which one is the correct one. Now, a leg of a triangle actually cannot be, so this actually cannot be greater than or you can also say or equal to the sum of other two legs so if we follow this particular condition then this principle actually eliminates both one okay because 11 is actually greater than 5 plus 4 and 3 because 4 plus 11 is equal to 15. Therefore, 2 is only the acceptable length. So, however, we can't pick 2. We have to pick it from these options that are given to us. That means we know that 2 is only correct. So, B will be the correct answer. That must be chosen with respect to this question. Now, we will move on to question number and the next question which is marked as question number 26 now this particular question is related to trucks and gallons of diesel now the question says a certain truck uses 18 gallons of diesel fuel in traveling to 70 miles it also adds that in order to for the truck to travel the same distance using the 10 gallons of diesel fuel by how many per miles per gallon must the truck's fuel mileage be increased okay so it is saying that the truck travels 270 miles and this is done on 18 gallons so how much becomes your speed this is your distance and this much amount of fuel you require so it is 15 miles so you get it is getting 270 by 18 that means it is going 15 miles per gallon okay now what you need to do you need to travel the same distance on 10 gallons then you would actually get or you it would need to get 27 miles per gallon okay per gallon that means you require now you require 27 initially you had 15 so you require 12 more so the truck fuel mileage should be increased by 12 more units that means c will be the correct option to this particular question let us move on to the next question which is marked as 27 okay so i'll first clear the page okay so the question provides us with a figure here it says the above figure actually represents a window 
with shaded region representing reach with represent openings for glass and the pale region represent wood panels that are between and around the glass okay now there is some dimensions given let's see it says that the window is 4.5 feet high by 2.5 feet wide and if each of the wooden panels is exactly 4 inches thick the question is that we need to concentrate or answer the total surface area and the units are given in square inches of the glass of window we need to consider this measurement okay so for this problem you actually could calculate the dimension of each of the four pieces of glass but it is probably simplest to calculate the area of the glass and why it is so because if the four pieces were just one rectangle or area of glass so if the window is 4.5 feet high then it is 4.5 into 12 which is 54 inches high now 54 inches minus 3 into 4 inches and what is this this actually represents the dimension for wooden panels which means that the glass in the window is 54 minus 12 which is nothing but 42 inches high now the window is also said to be 2.5 feet wide which actually equals to 30 inches I'm just it is in feet and this is that you have transferred into or made represented into a different by a different term okay not this unit but some other unit okay so 30 inches less 12 inches for the panels means that the glass is 18 inches wide okay this is the breadth now 42 which is this into 18 which is nothing but this will actually give 756 square inches and this was the reason why we were actually changing from feet to inches all the time because we require to produce the answer in square inches okay so the correct answer will be or we will pick option number d because it actually corresponds to the value that is exactly equal to the value that we have computed that means the correct answer to this particular question will be option number d question number 28 will be the last question which we will answer with regard to this tutorial and then we will wind up the tutorial the question shows a relation and the uh, variable that is used is x we need to determine the value of x so you can restate the equation as 3x square plus 3x minus 7 equal to 3x square plus 8 so you have this to get cancelled and you have 3x is equal to 15 or ultimately the value of x becomes 5 so this is the, the generalized or simplified value if you simplify this you will get this as your answer that means the option that must be chosen is a because a corresponds to gives us the value 5 so with this we wind up today's tutorial so i hope this short tutorial on gmat quantitative section was helpful if yes then comment in the section down below you can call and whatsapp us if you have any query or doubt on this particular number if you want to make a video make if you want us to make video on any special topic related to gmat you can comment on the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching